Hello and welcome to my first Lightroom edit where I take a picture that a viewer sent in and today I've got this picture right here from Manoi, absolutely beautiful picture, absolutely beautiful mood so I'm gonna attempt and edit it in Lightroom. So I'm here in Lightroom but before I get started with editing if you would like to submit your own picture for me to edit then be sure to check out this video right here and there I explain everything on how you can submit your picture. So this is an absolutely beautiful picture, very dark, very mysterious mood and I absolutely love it. It's very different to my usual pictures but I still think I can make something pretty cool out of it, I already have an idea. And yeah, let's get started with editing. So first thing I thought uh, is to go black and white, but then I realized that this entire front part of the photo just looks a little bit too monotone and I'd really like the color look quite a bit better. However, because this is such a moody picture, I think I might even go a little bit into the minus vibrance just to take out some of that saturation and vibrance in the actual color. And then also a thing, even though this picture is already relatively dark, I think I'm gonna bring down the exposure even more to really amplify this very dark and very uh, mysterious mood. So then to the highlight slider, I think I might even go plus highlights here because I really want at least some dynamic in this picture and I really think a backlight will work quite well. I definitely do like this look. To the shadows, I'm really not sure if I want to bring them up since I really like this very darkish uh, exposure in the bottom left and I think it works really well. Let me actually go to the contrast first and see if I want to add anything there. I might just add a little bit of contrast and then just bring down the shadows just a little bit. Then to the whites, I think I'm gonna bring up the whites to even get more backlight. I think this will look relatively cinematic once I'm done with editing because I really think this very dark trees, very dark foreground and the beautiful backlight uh, works really really well. And the black slider, let me also adjust this one and I might just bring that down a little bit. Now to clarity, clarity is relatively difficult. I am definitely not going into the plus clarity, absolutely don't think that works here. But I am not sure if I just want to leave it at zero or if, or if I actually want to go into the minus clarity. But I think just going a little bit into the minus clarity actually works. It really amplifies this mysterious mood and this mist even more and I think that actually works better than the default clarity. So I'm gonna leave that there and in terms of white balance now, hmm, I think before I adjust white balance I'm gonna go straight away down to the split toning highlights and I'm just gonna try and add a little bit of blues here in the highlights. Now, which kind of blue, let's see here, maybe sort of a lighter blue and then of course just go down with the saturation, just something like that. Now it's relatively quite a lot, but I think this look actually works pretty well here, at least in my opinion. Of course you don't necessarily have to add uh, the blues in the highlights, but I definitely think that blue works really really well. So I'm gonna go back up and then adjust the temperature of the overall picture, the white balance. But honestly, I don't even think I'm gonna change all that much. Let's see, I might even warm it up just a little bit. There's definitely so many looks that you could go for in this photo, but overall I think I'm just gonna warm it up a little bit, something like this, and to the tint. Hmm, let's see, I might even go just a little bit into the green tint, there's really a lot of things, a lot of adjustments that I've already done that I usually really don't do, but because this is such a different picture to what I usually edit, I really actually think it works pretty well. 
So then let's continue the tonal curve and I think I'm definitely going to bring up the highlight slider here as well to once again even amplify this backlighting even more and then just see what these other sliders do maybe bring the light slider up a little bit as well and the rest I think maybe just bring down the darks a little bit and the blacks themselves I think the blacks were fine and while we're at it we might as well try and play around with the point curve but at the end I really like to at least have a little bit of detail here in the left rather than just complete black so I think I'm just gonna leave that at linear. And I think the overall mood actually looks already pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna do too many detail adjustments anyway, since I really just wanna go for the overall mood to show you uh, the kind of overall look. I mean, this is a JPEG picture anyway, so you're not really going to be able to get uh, very good quality out of it. But the overall look is of course what counts. So then let me think, I think I'm going to add a little bit of dodge and burning with the radial filter here, or maybe not even that much, but I am going to add a filter right on this spot. I think it would work pretty well if I just have some lighting pretty much shining on this part right here. So I'm going to increase the exposure by quite a bit and maybe even add a little bit of color just maybe even a bit of uh, orange right here to make this portion of the grass seem a little bit more warm and a little bit more alive and I actually think that works pretty well yeah maybe I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of plus clarity let me see I am going to grab a graduated filter here actually and just drag it over the entire top portion of these trees and go into the minus exposure and I think that works really really well it really amplifies this dark mood even more and let me actually try to go even more into the minus global exposure and also go down to the split toning and add even more saturation yeah that looks actually really really interesting now I think the sky could use even more plus exposure so I'm gonna grab another rail filter and I think I'm gonna make this portion of the sky even brighter so the whole idea here pretty much is that this is really the center point of attention and that you really get a sense of uh, you know dynamic from that point with the light shining upon this place right here and everything else to be relatively dark very moodish and I actually think it works pretty well so I'm going to just put it up here make it kind of a little bit longer and then adjust the exposure and maybe even add a little bit more color here just a little bit yeah just something like that and then just bring down the shadows so the actual branches of this tree are not really getting up any brighter and then I'm going to grab an adjustment brush and go into the plus exposure as well and just kind of paint over some of these areas right here to make everything a little bit more dynamic and make everything a little bit more bright and more interesting maybe this spot actually doesn't work but I really like this spot right here and this spot right here as well maybe not this on the very top but I think overall the adjustment brush does a pretty good job so here is before the adjustment brush and here is after just a little bit of a difference and actually I might even add another adjustment brush and this time go minus exposure just for the very top part right here and go down quite a bit and maybe even add some contrast and grab even another one just for the very top and go even further down into a minus exposure so that way we really get the sense of darkness on this top part um, I'm just going to fine tune that right here because I think I might have gone just a little bit too far and yeah I think that works even better and actually when I think about it I don't really want to add any color in the uh, this radial filter after all so I'm just going to reset that 
and that looks actually a little bit more natural. So then I am going to add another adjustment brush and I'm going to go very very far into the minus clarity and just kind of paint over this distant stuff in the background and really try to make it even more mysterious to add some depth in this picture and I might even add another one with a little bit less minus clarity and just paint over this thing right here. So overall I think the look uh, is pretty close to what I uh, thought about but the longer I look at it I think it might even be a little bit better if I just crop down that uh, area of the picture right here. Let me see, that's a very difficult decision. I definitely think it works very well and it looks pretty cool, especially with all of these branches. But at the end, it also takes away quite a lot of attention from this center right here. So let me just try and crop this to something like this. And then just grab an adjustment brush and go even further down into the minus exposure and add some custom vignetting here to where it pretty much becomes pitch black. So let me see here. Huh, that's actually... I'm not quite sure if that will work, but I want to try it out. really have to get a few different adjustment brushes here to really make a nice transition. Maybe even make a minus adjustment brush just to kind of fine-tune that. I'm not sure, let's stick with this crop right here for now and just add another radial filter and go into the plus exposure and that actually looks pretty cool. So let's just see before this radial filter and here's after just a little bit more dynamic in the photo. So let me see once again. Actually after all I don't really think that it works with this kind of crop. I think after all I'm really going to uh, stick with this crop right here and of course just delete these two um, adjustment brushes because I don't want this to have too much vignetting. And you know, I really wanted to keep this right part because it has such nice branches and I really like the pond going into pretty much the non-distinguishable background. But at the end, it's just too distracting. So I'm going to crop it just like I originally thought. And I am going to add just some vignetting over here so this area pretty much becomes completely black. I'm going to do this with a couple of adjustment brushes, another one just for this uh, water area right here, and even another one. And yeah, I actually think this works a lot better than uh, the before with the tree in the right. It's just way less distracting. So overall, I think I'm pretty much done with this photo. Maybe just another uh, minus exposure adjustment brush and just adding a little bit of vignetting on this very bottom portion right here. And yeah, I think I am done with this picture. So I think the end result is really, really different to what we started with. Let's go here into the history and see. This is the before picture and this is the after. So it's a really, really heavy adjustment. And of course, that's just, you know, one possibility of this photo. You don't necessarily have to do it uh, like I have done. So I hope I could at least give you an idea or maybe give you some inspiration for this picture for yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'm going to see you in the next edit, whether it be one of my pictures or one of your pictures. Once again, if you would like to submit your own pictures, then be sure to check the link in the description down below. And yeah, until next episode, I want to wish you a great day. And of course, take care.